This is DPMS Panther Arms 308. I guess uh, folks in the business call this an AR-10, I want to say. Um, if you're not familiar, 308 is about the same as a 7.62 NATO round. Uh, the sight I'm using on here is called the Crossfire 2. Um, it'll go anywhere from 4 mag to 12. And um, right now I've actually got, looks like, dialed in at 12. Let me bring that back since we're not shooting very far out. If you look down range, we've got that log sitting up on end. I'm going to be shooting for the that center, that original growth ring or two of the tree. And uh, that's, yeah, that's our aim point. Uh, the gun, when I bought it, this rifle, when I bought it from uh, Rural King, it came with a 20 round magazine, but in this state, you can't uh, lawfully hunt with anything more than a 10 round. So I bought this 10 round magazine online. I can't remember the, the retailer, but so I've got 10 deer rounds in there. And uh, it operates exactly like uh, you'd expect any AR platform to operate. Ready to finally put my. When I'm shooting the smaller caliber stuff, I don't, you know, tend to use the hearing protection. But by golly, this thing really uh, is pretty loud. Um, the shotgun, the last video, also pretty loud. So here we go. Camera lady's also got hers on. Safety, 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 right? Let's see if I can get over the top of the hill here. That whole curvature thing here on the hill. A little better right here. I try to be as, as tall as I can be. And I'm also closer than I have this dialed in for. So I'm going to have to aim slightly um, higher. To compensate the difference between where the uh, the sight is, the scope, and where the barrel actually is. And for good measure, I'll put another one in it. Why not one more? All right, sounds safe. Let's go take a look. You can pause it. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure how, how well I did actually. We put off three rounds. The first one I can see is actually really cool. It's like a really small entrance wound. And of course, if you know wood, and this is a soft wood, it, it, it swelled and then kind of closed back down on it. And the only reason I know it's here, look around the other side, and you can see the exit wound right there. So it, you know, of course it leaves a large exit wound. It went through, this round went through, that's, gosh, that's at least six inches of white pine. It went right through. Of course it's going with the grain, so it's going through those growth rings there, those layers. And then I think I probably did miss one. So I don't see any on here, I don't think. And then, I think this was already knobbed off, but this is fresh over here. So if you come over here, right, right there, I think this was just sticking out a little bit and I probably nipped, nipped the top off. So, so as I said, this is probably about, I don't know, half or three quarters as much as what I usually have it set up for. I usually have a pumpkin in the fall right before hunting season for the deer that I zero in on and um, so I was trying to uh, artificially aim a little high and it looks like I was probably artificially aiming a little too high, uh, overcompensated. So you think about the distance, if I wanted to hit here and I'm aiming up here, I should have been aiming more like right here, about an inch or two up. But, um, you know, we had that hill there and in my mind, I'm probably thinking, don't hit the ground, don't hit the ground. So I aimed a little higher yet. So pretty good uh, rifle. Um, I've been hunting with it for um, how many years now? Four? Three, four, yeah. Three or four years with that rifle and we've we've had our fill of, of venison for sure. So it's a, a good rifle. Uh, let's step this off on the way back and we can talk some more. Right, so we have uh, 
I'll just do paces. Uh, and we'll just go. Actually, I'll do the uh, I'll do the old every other step thing, and I, I have my pace count in mind is about 66 of the same foot for 100 meters. Of course, we're going uphill, so it'll be approximate. I can't count and talk at the same time, so we might as well pause it. I'm at six right now. <laughs> Four, 45, 46, so yeah, 75, 80 yards is all. Um, anyway, this this one came, I think about $800 Royal King, something like that. I think it was on sale. Um, get that one out of there. It's on safe already, but finish the job. There we go. Um, the scope I actually got from a local shop in Louisville, and uh, there were nice guys down there. I think this was maybe a hundred bucks for a scope. I forget. Um, and I tell you, this, there's a learning curve to the scope. I'd never used a scope before. I'd always used iron sights, and uh, it took it took some getting used to for sure. So before you go out trying to hunt with any weapon, of course, but especially if you're switching the types. Or if you're switching your sights or anything like that, spend some time, make sure that uh, that you got it dialed in and you're confident with it, and um, in all light conditions too. You know, if if it's you know legal to hunt in twilight and dusk, make sure you spend some time shooting in twilight and dusk as well. The scope does help with those low light conditions a lot, um, so there's that too. I, I I like that it goes all the way up to 12. Um, I I never shoot at 12. Um, but you know, sometimes you're just looking at stuff. It's like, oh, look at that. You know, if you're spending some time out and it's quiet in the morning or in the evening and it's just fun. Anyway, I'm blabbering on, but, um, I'm sure most of the viewers moved on by now. Uh, what else can I say? I mean, it's just the butt stock. Um, it, I like it. I like it a lot. What do you think, camera lady? Was it loud? Not too bad. Good. Your, your hearing protection saved you. So, uh, that's all I have to say. If you have any questions... Feel free to post them in the comment section, and, and I'll do my best to answer them honestly. Um, nobody's paying me to do these videos, and, and they probably won't for a long time because, you know, I've got like tens and tens of views. It's hilarious. So, um, anyway, have a nice day.